Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. So welcome back to my foundation stick wars. Today's episode two, and if you're watching this in the future, I will link all the videos down below for you. I will be testing out six drugstore foundation sticks for your oily skin, and for each of them, I will be testing them with primer and without primer. So let's get into foundation number two, and that's gonna be the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation Stick. So this foundation claims to quickly perfect, contour, and highlight your complexion. This easy to apply stick formula is supposed to melt into the skin, blending seamlessly to leave a fresh and dewy finish. So I tested this product out for two days and day one is my first impression with primer. So let's roll the tape. Okay, so I just primed my face with my favorite primer and it is time to get into the next stick foundation. Let's go ahead and put this on my face. Smell test. It doesn't smell like anything. I matched myself online, so I'm really hoping that this works. It looks like it might be a match. I think this is definitely gonna work. Let me go ahead and just get my brush and start stamping this in. Okay, so far this is looking really, really nice. Now this weekend, I wasn't too kind to my skin, so I do have a few breakouts. I'm gonna go ahead and put the makeup on the other side of my face. Okay, so this foundation is extremely creamy. I feel like a little will go a long way. I know that now, but let me just show you what my forehead is looking like because I put a lot on my forehead. I didn't think that I did, but I, you'll see in a second. So I'm not sure how well you can see the streakiness of the foundation. It's just not really like going into my skin. It's not really like sinking in or looking normal or anything. So I'm going to see if me just kind of like dabbing my forehead with a tissue will kind of help this whole situation and we'll go from there. So I'm actually going in all over with the tissue with this foundation because it's honestly a little bit thick and I put on my normal streaks of foundation, but it just feels and looks kind of heavy. So I'm just gonna take just, you know, a bit off the entire face. <laughs> All right, so I think that I was able to make this look just a little bit better. I think that this doesn't look like it's as heavy. I do feel like I have texture on the forehead and I really try to kind of like smooth things out, but I just did not have any luck. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Oh, really quickly, let me just show you the forehead before I do the rest of my makeup. So here is what my forehead is looking like right now. It is just a bit dry, so it does look a little textured. Alrighty, now that I'm back with the rest of my makeup, let's go and take a look at my face. Okay, so I did try to fix the texture situation on the forehead, but really nothing was working. I tried using my setting spray and just kind of like going over the setting spray with a damp sponge and nothing really worked. I don't think it looks that bad, but um, you can definitely see it. And I haven't had my makeup on for that long, but I already have a crease line in my smile line. And then I have some creasing going on in between my lip and my chin. Let's do a close up so you guys can see. Here is the texture on my forehead. And then the left side of my face, you can already see that crease line. And then the right side of my face, I think looks pretty nice. Other than those problem areas, I don't think that this looks bad, but I don't think it looks great, but we'll see how this looks at the end of the day. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, it's been about 10 hours, so let's take a look at my face. So I do have some oil that's come through the T-zone, but honestly, it's not really that bad oil wise it is not that bad unfortunately i do have a lot of creasing and caking and separating in between my eyebrows uh pretty much the entire mouth area is creased and very caked i will applaud this foundation for staying on my nose as much as it could i do have allergies like really really bad allergies and today was pretty bad and now that i'm actually up closer i do see a lot of cakiness in the creases of my nose Okay, let's go ahead and do a close-up. So here's what my forehead is looking like. Very shiny and it still looks textured. Like it still looks like I have dry skin underneath this makeup. In between my eyebrows, that creasing is really not that bad. And here's the left side. You can definitely see the creasing in my smile line. I have some caking right here in the crease of my nose. I'm very oily. And then pretty much my entire chin is just cakey. 
So I do have the same thing on the right side. I have cakiness here. I don't have that much creasing on this side, but I have a lot of caking going on, a lot of creasing. So I actually did a very light setting all over my face. So I'm not exactly sure why I'm showing caking. So tomorrow I'm going to not wear any primer and then still do a very, very light setting and see how it goes from there. I'm hoping that's gonna help with the texture. Maybe it's just what's underneath the foundation. So I'll be back to let you guys know. Alrighty guys, so this is day two and we're gonna try this again. I'm not gonna be wearing any primer this time and I think I'm gonna be blending out one side with a sponge. Now I washed this last night so it is still just a bit damp. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to use this to prevent that texture that we were seeing yesterday. I don't really use a sponge because sponges tend to soak up the crap out of the cream foundations more so than like the liquid and stuff like that. But um, I'm just gonna try it out just to see how this works. Gotta remember not to use so much because yesterday was insane. Okay, we're gonna try that. Not only does the uh, sponge just soak up so much of the stick foundation, but it's so much harder to blend out. Like it just takes forever. <laughs> At least I feel like it does. Whenever I do see people use a beauty sponge to blend out their cream foundation, like their stick foundation, they're like pulling and tugging. And I'm just kind of like, what's the point? If you're just going to be like rubbing this in, why not just use a brush? Um, and plus, I don't know, I just feel like that would create more texture if you're just like scraping or not scraping, but just like swiping is what I should say. Okay, this is actually a million times better. Never mind, I like using a sponge. But hey, that is what all this testing is for, right? This looks so much better. Oh my God. Okay, so perfect, awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side with the sponge as well. Okay, guys, I have to do a close up so that way you guys can see the difference because yesterday you guys saw there was a lot of texture and just a lot of cakiness. This time around, it is so different. So let's do that close up. Here's what my forehead is looking like. So nice and so smooth. And the left side of my face, so nice and so smooth. I do have a pimple that does need some more coverage, but other than that, so beautiful. Same with the right side, so nice and so smooth, zero texture. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back, but really quickly, just let's acknowledge this nice, beautiful glow. Okie dokie, so I'm back with the rest of my makeup. I didn't put on my eye makeup just because I think I might be doing something later on. I don't know, I'm not too sure. But anyway, I think that my makeup is looking so, so good right now. Let me go ahead and do a close-up so that way you guys can see everything that's going on. Here's what my forehead is looking like. I still have that beautiful glow. And the left side of my face looking very nice and smooth. And then the right side of my face also looking very smooth. I can't wait to see what my makeup is gonna look like at the end of the day, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, it's been about 10 hours, so let's go and take a look at my face. So I cannot express how much I wanna take this makeup off. I feel like I am just wearing this grease mask. I have oil all throughout my face. I can just feel the makeup on my face. I have creasing in between my eyebrows. I have caking. I don't think I have any foundation on my nose anymore. Let's just do a close-up so you guys can see all this. Here is my oily forehead in between my eyebrows, really not that bad. The left side of my face, super oily, cakey. The exact same thing on the right side, super oily, cakey. I'm going to enjoy taking this makeup off. Okay guys, so here are my overall thoughts on this foundation. This foundation can truly be so, so beautiful once you learn how to work with it. Now for me, I learned that this doesn't really work well with a primer. I did find out that this is better applied with a damp sponge, just a light damp sponge. It does take a little bit longer to blend out, but trust me, it is worth it. Also, it can only handle just a little bit of powder, so no baking. One thing that I found out very quickly was a little goes a long way, so make sure that you are using a very light hand because it could look and feel cakey 
very, very quickly. So this foundation has the most beautiful glow with medium coverage. It does fill in my pores, except for the fine lines, doesn't really do much for that area, but overall, this is a really good foundation. Okay, so this foundation does not claim to be long wearing, so I'm not gonna hold that against them, but I will say that you can get a good six to seven hours with this foundation before you become this oily, oily mess. Now, I did purchase this online for $8.50, and for that price point, I definitely think that it's worth the money. Okay, so I do have a question for you guys. If you are a fan of stick foundations, how many hours are you able to get this to work for you? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thanks. Bye.